In this session, we're going to look at Civil 3D's file referencing options. I'm going to start by typing xref. When I do in the External References Manager, you can see all the file types we can reference, everything from DWG to DWF to DGN, point clouds. In this case, I'm referencing a DWG file. Let me do a zoom extents. Now that I've linked to this DWG, we can see its contents. It's a survey drawing, it represents an existing road with an uh, existing uh, creek. After I've referenced the data, let's look at some additional ways we can reference. I'm going to go to the Raster Tools ribbon, and I'll click Insert. Just for a second, I'll open the All Images files, and you can see the sheer number of image formats that we can reference into the environment. I'm going to reference an aerial photo called Site TIFF. I'll select that and click Open. You can see that was geo-referenced. It drops right into the file where it belongs. In addition to referencing imagery, we can also reference GIS data. I'm turning off the tool space here, and I'm going to go to the Home tab. I'll bring up the Map Workspace. Here's where I can leverage my geospatial information. I'll choose Connect to Data, and you can see all of the geospatial data we can bring in. ArcSDE, MySQL, ODBC, raster images. In this case, I'm bringing in a shape file. I'm going to select the existing stream. This was data that was downloaded from the Internet. I'll choose Add to Map. It's also geospatially located. It's projected into the right location, and if I zoom in, we can see the, uh, the GIS Creek has been added to my model. Now, one thing, I always hate seeing brown water. I'm going to go over and uh, click on that layer just to show you that we can adjust the thematic styling very easy. I'll select the fill pattern, and I'll change its color to blue. I'll click Apply, Close, and then I'll close the Style Editor, and we can see that GIS data looks a little better.